For many years, SESCI has been involved in activities aimed at promoting the monitoring of territorial processes, in particular cross-border flows. It does this mostly because the large scale of border demarcation resulting from the small size of the Central and Southeastern European countries makes it necessary for creating appropriate regional development policies and strategies. As one of the first steps in this process, our association, in cooperation with the MOT, dedicated a seminar to the topic as early as 2014. In order to facilitate the cooperation and harmonization processes, SESCI organized another conference in May 2022 in cooperation with the French Embassy in Budapest, the French Institute and the MOT. Renowned experts in the field gathered at the French Institute in Budapest for a conference on cross-border territorial monitoring. Jean Peroni, Director General of the MOT, summarized the significance of the conference as follows. Inhabitants near a border should have the right to live at 360 degrees around their home. For that, we need cross-border data. To build this data, we need the involvement of all levels, from local to national and European. At the beginning of the event, the participants of the conference were greeted by Alexis Rusinek, attaché of cooperation in science and tertiary education of France, conveying the message of Pascal Andrani, French ambassador to Budapest, then Peter Kisparciu, deputy state secretary for regional and cross-border economic development, and Viktor Shidarovsky, the director of the Espony GTC, greeted the audience. After the greetings, the speakers explored the European dimension of the topic. In the first panel, the experts of the OSCD, the European Commission, the French EU Presidency and the Polish Statistical Office exchanged their views on EU-level spatial planning and monitoring. While in the second panel, participants discussed why we need cross-border data for spatial development. Ricardo Ferreira, an expert from the Directorate General of the European Commission, summarized the European relevance of the topic. Ultimately, what we want to reach is the development of the different regions, allowing each region to reach its maximum potential. In that sense, it is essential that the different interactions are understood on the natural territory, which is 300 degrees around one person, one organization, even if it goes beyond the border. For us to develop the proper policies, we need to understand the interactions on the other side. Therefore, we need to have proper spatial planning, we need to have proper cross-border data. On the evening of the first day of the conference, the speakers took part in a special tour of the Hungarian House of Music, during which the first chords of the Symphony of Borders were also played. <laughs> On the second day, three sections addressed the macro-regional dimension of the topic. The speakers discussed the supranational perspective, the Danube macro-regional perspective, and then held a roundtable discussion on the interest of the national level. Among the sections, Bianca Mitrika also explained why it is important to address the topic from the point of view of researchers and geographers. For me, it's something very interesting because uh, I usually work with a lot of database and from the geographical point of view, it's very important to have the accessibility to the data in order to provide the best results. The conference ended with a presentation by Professor Emeritus Andreas Faludi on the poverty of methodological territorialism. In Sudeten Budapest, Andreas Faludi has been a very The problem has been with us from the beginning, but it's becoming increasingly virulent with uh, the, the, the suspicion which exists in member states and in the electorates of member states against uh, European integration. So that, that I believe, is a, is, is a seminal problem and it's getting worse rather than better. Uh, so I, I have a lot of sympathy with these experts. I'm not amongst them anymore uh, who are doing their level best. Uh, they, are, they are really very active and very inventive. Uh, but they are, it is what is called an uphill struggle. Uh, so that's, that's my take on the conference. Lots of progress, but no breakthrough. 
Professor Farudi's message underlines the necessity of making further joint efforts for the access of cross-border data. And so SESC remains committed to advancing the issue of cross-border territory monitoring for which all partners who wish to cooperate are invited to come forward.